All right, YouTube, so today is October 19th, 2023. Here's a October garden tour. And you can see it's been about three weeks since I planted these trees. And uh, if you saw my last video, you'll know that these two trees uh, dropped out of the leaves and then come back. But these two trees didn't drop out of the leaves, and so they did better with transplants. So I don't know what's going on with that, but these two look good uh luckily for me these two aren't dead they just look pretty sad and yeah that's going on with these four trees that i planted three weeks ago almost a month ago and uh here's my first raised bed that i built last year you can see it's growing in sorghum still and that's the other raised bed that i built earlier this year um if you remember this is my cheap backfill raised bed basically i just put peat moss and my native soil mixed it together and backfilled this raised bed and this is how this looks like so far and with this one i put two bags of grow mulch so this is what this raised bed looks like i noticed ever since i cut it back last week or two weeks ago whatever it was that this uh, sorghum is looking a lot more greener before it was looking pale green so I don't know what the difference is but yeah it's looking a lot better a lot more green so let me show you the other two raised beds that I have built the smaller ones this is my 4x4 raised bed I'm growing jalapenos in here and so far we got a pretty good harvest you can see that some of these jalapenos are turning red finally and uh, I noticed that there's something eating this one, so I have to get rid of that thing. I think it's a green hornet. I have to get rid of that. And uh, there's tomatillo producing a lot of fruit. And we made salsa last week, or at least I did. And it turned out pretty good. Sorry I didn't do a taste test for you guys. I should have done that. I completely forgot. And here's another tomatillo that I was trying to grow before fall hits, or the winter hits. And, uh... It looks like it was producing some fruit, but nothing too spectacular. And I was trying to grow peas in here, but I guess it's still too warm for it. So I'll try again in a little bit. Uh, as soon as we're getting more of winterish, I guess. More cold. And if you remember, I was trying to grow serranos in here. This is the only serrano that survived. It produced like very little fruit, so that sucks. So I was trying to grow a cover crop and as you can see is growing a uh, sorghum city and grass and then the Bermuda is just keeps coming back up which sucks for me because Bermuda is hard to kill and uh yeah that's the update for this raised bed and if you look right over here here's the container I was growing the single seed challenge this surprisingly produced uh, really well for me Considering that I wasn't trying to grow this one to the best of my abilities. And then here's a sunflower that came up. Um, over here we have the key lime citrus tree. And uh, the other day I went to the store and I got some blueberries. So I'm planning to grow this during fall so i'm gonna plant this into the ground pretty soon and we got this variety because i wanted two different varieties uh, i don't actually that's the important so never mind and then um over here my dad wanted to try to grow another pomegranate tree so we got just basically the same wonderful pomegranates i know that will do well and basically that's the only variety they had at the store and then i got sorry i got this thornless boysenberry i never had boysenberry before i don't know if it tastes good but judging by the purplish reddish color of this fruit on this picture uh, i know it's gonna be really healthy for me so that's why i got it and here's my lemon tree. I always forget what it's called. 
It's a Libsyn lemon tree, dwarf lemon tree, so. So that's the variety of this lemon tree. It's looking a lot better than usual. At least to me, it's still looking pretty yellow, but uh, it's going a little bit darker green, so that's promising. So hopefully that keeps getting better. And hopefully my winters won't kill it off because we do get down to the 20s, but it's not for a long time. So we'll see what happens. And uh, I was trying to grow sage, but this container, but I just didn't go out this, so I just didn't take care of it that well. And here is my 65 gallon grassroof hero pot. I was growing in bell peppers. You can see some of these just stay for way too long. Or I don't know why that happens. Maybe there's a calcium deficiency. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't look like a blossom end rot, but either way, it's happening in some of these. I don't know why. Hopefully, that stops soon. Either way, I'm going to still eat it because I grew it and it's still fine. In my opinion, at least. Over here, if you remember, I was trying to grow lemon habaneros in these different 15 gallon grass with arrow pots. This is my biochar and native soil. This one's doing the best out of all of them. Um, I think I need to water this because it's looking pretty sad. And uh, this one's my uh, sandy soil. So I just basically up sand that I bought from the store and some compost. Oh yeah, by the way, this has 10% compost. And uh, yeah, this is the sandy one. And then my native soil one with 10% compost. Again, this was growing nothing. Uh, I was trying to grow the same plant, but it died. So unfortunately, I couldn't grow anything. Even when I planted other things afterwards, it just didn't want to come up. So hopefully next year, I'll do a better job at growing something. Or this year, trying to grow a fall crop. But we'll see what happens. <clears throat> this, if you come over here... I grew zucchini. It's actually produced pretty well for me. Uh, got a couple of good harvests and then around it I just put some aloe vera because I just wanted something else to grow. And I was trying to regrow the prickly pear cactus. Uh, I used to have a huge one but the winter killed it. So I don't know if this was going to survive my, my winter. I doubt it if my other fruit or if my other cactus didn't survive but who knows, we'll see, it's closer to the wall. Doesn't make any sense because the other one was really close to the wall, but let me show you the last fruit tree and then we end the video. Okay, YouTube, so this is my very first pomegranate tree that I ever got like two years ago. It's the same variety, the wonderful pomegranate tree. So yeah, uh, this hasn't produced fruit yet just because uh, the first year I had it in a dark corner so it didn't grow that much. Uh, when I moved it at the beginning of this year to over here, uh, it did really well. Uh, the only thing is, it just didn't produce fruit. Uh, it produced flower, but I think it didn't have enough energy to produce fruit. So the thing I'm doing this year is mulching it really well. And then I'm doing, a, if you've seen my other video where I talked about sheet mulching a little bit, that's what this is. I'm planning to plant garlic when it starts getting colder, because right now it's way too early to plant garlic. But yeah, this uh, I have aloe vera over here also, just so I have a little bit more ground cover. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, it would be greatly appreciated if you liked it. If you left a like, comment, and subscribe to my video or my channel. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace.